y'all I know it's kind of windy out here I hope you can hear me okay uh, like I said before I'm going away and I hate going away because I have to run around the entire ranch looking and checking everything this morning I noticed that there was a drop in the water pressure and the tank is is getting low I see So I'm going to stop and just do a audio recording here in my office. I, I just couldn't take listening to the wind anymore. Um, so yeah, the float just kept running and just wouldn't shut off. I tried replacing the ball with a stainless steel rod and... The reason why I use the stainless steel rods is because they they don't bend like the brass rods do and um, they don't get all corroded and they're just easier to work with but while I was working on that it, no matter what I did that float just wouldn't shut off so I ended up just you know taking it off I had a new one sitting in the shop so I grabbed that and then I'll just take it off I turned the water off back at the ranch but it's still got some you know there it's less pressure but still now something I've done recently is I put a three-quarter inch ball valve um, before each float and if you have to work on water troughs you'll know that that's actually a good idea it costs a little more you know it's it's more of a, a convenience factor so as you see there I just screw the uh, float on then I'll put the stainless steel rod on with the ball, the float, and that's it. It's done. Yeah, just uh, simple. I like it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.